Hello Tabernacle family. This is Pastor Edwards coming to you live on this recorded message from the church. I greet you in the matchless name of Jesus the Christ, our Lord and Savior. And I decree and declare the words of Psalm 91 over every tabernacle member, your household, and your loved ones to remind you that they who dwell in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. We will say of the Lord, God is our refuge and our fortress. Our God, in Him we will trust. Surely God will deliver us. We shall not be afraid of the terror by night, nor the arrow that flies by day. For a thousand may fall at our side and ten thousand at our right hand. But it shall not come near us, because we have made the Lord who is our refuge our dwelling place. No evil shall befall us, nor shall any plague or virus come near our dwelling. God declared, because they have set their heart upon me, therefore I will deliver them. Because they have known my name, they shall call upon me, and I will answer them, and I will be with them in trouble. I will deliver them and honor them. He declared, with long life I will satisfy them and show them my salvation. In the mighty name of Jesus, amen, somebody. Well, by now, we all have been bombarded with the news regarding the coronavirus pandemic. We pray that you receive this video message and all of the other Tabernacle Church news and updates through our website, our email system, our phone tree and texting system, and even the social media outlets. We decided this past Monday, March the 16th, to temporarily suspend all church ministry activities and worship services through the end of March for now, in response to the health and safety advisories from the Mayor's Office, the Governor's Office, and the White House. While every pastor and every congregation must choose their own path of compliance with the health advisory, we at Tabernacle regard your safety, health, and well-being to the utmost. We know that our devoted members will not lose their faith, their hope, nor their devotion to the Lord and His Church. In fact, we believe that the members of Tabernacle will be blessed with increased faith, increased hope, and devotion, all because our real relationship and trust in God. I am glad to report that we have a long and rich church history supporting the church prayerfully, financially, and spiritually before, during, and even after this crisis. And we will therefore readily look forward to returning to worship when it is again safe and acceptable to gather in the sanctuary once again for some praise, prayer, preaching, worship, fellowship, and communion. We've been taught and believed that as believers, we are the church, more so than the building itself. So whether we're at home or in an open field, we can and will continue to do at home what we've been doing in the church. That is, let us magnify the Lord, sing praises to His holy name. Let us pray without ceasing and let us continue to study the Word of God to show ourselves approved, rightly dividing the Word of truth. Let us continue fasting and praying during Lent. Let us continue to proclaim the good news of Jesus Christ to all others who might live in fear and panic. Let us share our personal testimony. Let us also continue to pray, help one another, and look out for one another. Let us stay connected to the body of Christ and continue to support the work of the church and his ministries. All of these things we can still continue to do while we're physically apart and away from the sanctuary, but never from God's presence. Amen, somebody. Now, to help us stay connected as members of the church during this time of quarantine, we encourage you to let us know if you are in need of food or other necessities because of the quarantine. We will do our best to help get you the help you need. Please continue to let the church know if you're sick or if you're hospitalized, because truly prayer does change things. 
we've already known that many of our members have already been checking on one another because that's our tabernacle way of loving our neighbors. We will also be emailing and posting an invitation for the members of Tabernacle to join us for a video conference tomorrow by using the Zoom app or the Zoom web link. That's tomorrow morning, Sunday, March the 23rd at 10.15 a.m., our regular time of worship. The link to the video conference, which is free of charge, is a chance for our Tabernacle members to be with one another, to hear from one another, and to be seen by one another, which is optional. We can do that all at the same time, hundreds of us, while staying healthy and safe in our own respective homes. I really have struggled with not being able to see the members of Tabernacle. And I imagine many of you have been missing one another as I have too. So look for a TBIC email message and just click on the link at 1030 to join us. The mass email will be sent out to the members with all of the needed information. You can use your personal computer, you can use your mobile phone, whether it's an Apple or Android. Just click on the link at 10.15 a.m. and you'll be able to hear us, see us, and be with us. It will be a first for sure, but perhaps not the last. Because it is always good to see one another, and even more, it's good to be seen by one another. Now, regarding the pandemic, keep in mind that most the most challenging aspect of this coronavirus is not the potential sicknesses or even the number of potential deaths. The real challenge going forward is getting sufficient supplies of medical equipment, medical supplies, uh, staff and facilities, getting it to the people in places that will need it the most in the days and weeks ahead. The government officials have come to realize that our nation does not have enough medical equipment, nor enough medical staff or medical hospital beds, and, and not even enough facilities to handle, uh, in the case of a few weeks, uh, the projected surge of a bunch of sick people who are still treatable. However, if the number of people uh, were to be spread out over a longer period of months, the nation would be in a better position, better able to treat everyone as needed. What I'm trying to say, in other words, is it's like this. If a church can seat a thousand people, but it has 5,000 members, you don't want all 5,000 members to come at once. Instead, you'd like for some to come at the 8 o'clock service, some at the 10 o'clock service, and some at the 12 noon service. By spreading them out, everyone can worship and be served. So it is likewise, by slowing down the rate of the coronavirus spreading, more people can be medically treated promptly and properly as needed. So please continue frequent hand washing and know that the self-quarantine, these are the two simple ways we can slow down and prevent contracting and spreading the virus. But no matter what lies ahead, we will continue to walk in faith and not in fear. And we will continue to pray and prepare, but not panic. For truly, this too shall pass. Here are a few things to remember. God brought us through the mumps, measles, chicken pox, the West Nile virus, the Zika virus, the H1N1 virus, the Ebola virus. Surely God can and will bring us through the coronavirus. Remember also that 98% of the people who will contract the, uh, the, the coronavirus uh, disease, 98% of them will live through it with treatment. While in quarantine, help let us remember, let us think of the goodness of the fact that we have more time now to pray, read our Bible, and meditate on the things of God. We also may have time to spend some quality time with our family and to reach out to those family and friends we've been missing. Thank you for listening to this video and truly it's a first for me too. Now let us pray. Heavenly Father, we magnify your holy name and we stand firmly upon your word. We put our faith and trust in you and you alone for all of our needs, past, present, and future. 
I pray, dear Lord, that we we would uh, search and find our blessings in the midst of this crisis. For we believe in faith that you will work it for our good. Now God, for those who are struggling in any way, physically, financially, uh, psychologically, romantically, emotionally, uh, professionally, whatever it is God, whatever they're dealing with now, whatever hardship, whatever employment issues, God, we declare in faith that there is a bomb in Gilead and his name is Jesus Christ. So help us, O oh God, to turn to him and feed our faith daily to stand against the attack of the enemy. Help us to put on the whole armor of God each and every day, knowing that you will fight our battles and we shall come out victoriously in Christ Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I also now plead the blood of Jesus upon every tabernacle member, every household, every loved one, both near and far. And I declare that by his stripes, we are healed. It's in the precious and mighty name of Jesus Christ, we all pray. Amen. Now, finally, brothers and sisters, as Paul declared, whatsoever things are pure, true, whatsoever things are noble, Whatsoever things are right, whatsoever things are pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable, if anything is excellent or praiseworthy, think about such things. Whatever you have learned or received or heard from me, Paul said, or seen in me, put it into practice, and the God of peace will be with you always. Thank you so much for watching this video. I pray that it's a blessing to you, and I hope that to see your face or to hear from you, tomorrow as we come together as a church on the Zoom uh, app at 10.15 a.m. Sunday, March the 23rd. Thank you for listening. God bless you. I love you and God knows I miss you and look forward to, maybe not hugging, but look forward to at least seeing you real soon. Take care.